voting is the foundation stone for political action. Martin Luther King Jr. said that in 1965 and today on MLK Day, voting rights are very much the focus for Democrats. On this federal holiday that honors him, it's not just enough to praise him. We must commit to his unfinished work to deliver jobs and justice, to protect the sacred right to vote the right from which all other rights flow. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has promised action on voting rights Tuesday, but there's one problem with that. He doesn't have the votes. There are two bills on the table and reportedly a version being drafted by Senator Joe Manchin and Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. But none of those bills have Republican support, meaning they can be filibustered and killed. And as for changing the filibuster, Schumer would need the full support of his party, something he doesn't have. But there is one option that might work, the Electoral Count Act. This is a really small change to clarify that the vice president cannot reject state certified results when Congress meets to count the votes. According to Senator Mitt Romney, a bipartisan group of senators is working on legislation, and it could be the last best chance for some action on the election process. Straight from DC, I'm Annie Anderson.